relationships between my people my eternal people and these devils it disgusts me it sickens me to the core because these devils only are getting into relationships with us and having babies with us to maintain their survival on this planet because they know they are going extinct so they know that if i can mixed with a little melanin i can leave little remnants left i can leave little parasites left on this earth so that i don't completely get wiped the fuck out but that's your destiny you can't run away from that and for my people that continuously want to get into relationships with these devils you a slave you master loving ass n we are an extra terra astral race we created everything on this planet including the human species we are the original Native Americans. We are the original Kemites, AKA Egyptians. We are the Moors. We are the Hebrews. We are the original Chinese. We are the original Japanese. So-called white people, nine either beings. We are an extraterrestrial race. We created everything on this planet, including the human species. We are the original people of every landmass on this planet. We are the original Atlantics. And this is why they do not want you to know your history. This is why whenever we talk about our history, it goes against guidelines. This is why whenever we talk about our history, every other group of people feel the need to join into our discussion. We don't care about who they are. We don't care about what they do, but they sure do care about what we do and who we are. It's because because they don't want you to know that you are God. You created them and all the plants, all the oceans, all the animals. Remember who you are. Peace to the gods. I, as an eternal woman, cannot be racist because I, as an eternal woman, would not create a global system to maintain my survival because I have always lived since eternity. Dear black women, listen did i almost make you care don't worry you don't have to care because it's actually a black person saying this about black people so it's totally fine oh, I, boy, I was so confused i was confused <laughs> like what y'all gods <sighs> please no one is a god there is only one god uh, one true god i just leave it at that all I did was replace black with white, so let's take a look at the original video. The truth about black people, nine ether beings. So-called black people, nine ether beings. We are an extra terra astral race. We created everything on this planet, including the human species. We are the original Native Americans, are the original Kemites, AKA Egyptians. What I think he's getting at is the out of Africa theory. The theory is that the ancestors of modern humans came from Africa. And this nine ether, I looked it up, it has some like spiritual meaning. Or nine ether beings, but we are extraterrestrial beings and we do not come from the earth. We actually come from this cosmic realm. We are the true extraterrestrial beings here on this planet. This reminds me of that meme, the stop scrolling meme. Have you seen that? Stop, stop scrolling. scrolling stop it and if we can localize into that and meditate on it and find a way to bring that to the surface collectively as a collective african consciousness we can take back our freedom y'all people of african descent possess some divine qualities which if you ask me contributes a lot to the us versus them mentality i mean if you had a certain reaction to when i was saying this about white people how white people are gods i think most people would look at that and say that's very odd and and divisive we are the moors we are the Hebrews. We are the original Chinese. We are the original Japanese. We are the original Polynesians. Shout out to my Afro-Polynesians. We are the original people of every landmass on this planet. We are the original Atlanteans. And this is why they do not want you to know your history. Do you think in history class in school, they should be teaching the kids that black people are aliens? They're extraterrestrials. This is why whenever we talk about our history, it goes against guidelines. What? What's going against guidelines? Who's saying you can't talk about your history? This is why whenever we talk about our history, every other group of people feel the need to join into our discussion. Really? That's interesting. I think you said it yourself. You created the human species. You created them. 
So if a Native American person is talking about Native American people, actually, the original Native Americans were black. If Asians are talking about Asian people, actually, the original Asians were black. Everyone was originally black. So who's actually trying to insert themselves into everyone else's discussion? Everything came from black people. Everything come from black. Japan doesn't want to admit that the original shogun was the priesthood that was brought from Kush. Koreans don't want to admit that Africans brought uh, 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 Koreans onto the islands of Japan, met another African people known as the Ainu, and created what we today call the Japanese culture, even in America. They don't want to admit that the original people were the Twa Bro. people. Oh my gosh. The, the bad part about understanding and gaining knowledge and gaining understanding of things is the fact that People will literally listen to anything that sounds good. Bro, it's a scripture, fam. It's a scripture, bro. And it, it talks about this. And I, I'm going to just bring it up real fast because it's, my, my homie was just talking about this not too long ago. Uh, we were just talking about this. Uh, let me just bring it up, bro. Because I, I feel like this scripture goes perfectly with what it is that I'm trying to say right now. It's 2 Timothy 4. Uh, not 1 Timothy. 2 Timothy 4. Right here. For a time is coming, this is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. Bro, all this black people, this black people, that, and everything comes from the black culture and Black people are the original agents and the original uh, whatever else. Man, look, seriously, it, the, the bad part about all this is because people could just write anything they want to write. Now, we know that the, we know the history of black people. And of course, you have black people that's going to come off these articles with these nonsense of saying that black people are gods. We are nine, nine, whatever beings from i don't even know because it's all just it's it's nonsense but because historically black people have been through a lot slavery and segregation and been and been you know always got the end of the stick and things like that historically okay they're they're going to find anything and everything to to at least make black people feel good about themselves you know, they, they're going to find something to make black people feel good about. Did you know that we was the original this and we was the original that we need to gain back our freedom, guys? <laughs> it's just, bro, it sound foolish. You know it's foolish. <laughs> oh, my. I'm, I'm done. I am done, bro. Whew. All right, let's finish. People over 100,000 years ago coming to this part of the world. I mean, just recently we heard from a man who believed that black people enjoy anime because the original Japanese were black. Black people created everything. And um, as this person is saying, it's because black people, they're actually from a different planet. We don't care about who they are. We don't care about what they do, but they sure do care about what we do and who we are. It's because they don't want you to know that you are God. You created them and all the plants, all the oceans, all the animals. Remember who you are. Peace to the God. He also makes music. So let's listen. The us versus them mentality. He literally says us versus them. And then he proceeds to say, you have to pick a side. And if you're picking them, it's you or I. And if it's you or I, you're going to die. So peace to the gods, but death on everyone else. That doesn't sound very godlike. That doesn't sound very extraterrestrial to me. I mean, if you are so spiritual, right? If, if you created everything, if you're a god, I would assume you'd have a little bit more of a, a peaceful vibe about you, right? You maybe want to spread more love, not hate. You are quite literally wishing death on everyone who picks them. Who's them? They get war with us. Crackers lying on the news, they just make it up. Who is lying on the news? So you got the racist rhetoric, the us versus them mentality that you're promoting here. And historically, that mentality was used to justify oppression of different races, of different ethnicities, saying that others are inferior to you. I'm a bleach demon, as we know. So what does that mean? What does that mean for us white people? Because just by listening to your music, to your other videos, it's not sounding peaceful. Fighting racism with racism <laughs> is what this is. It can't, and it doesn't work. 
It does. Okay. It just creates more racism. So I recommend this person. You can believe you're an eternal being. You can believe you're from another planet. You're an alien. You've created bro, everything. Bro, let me say this. First of all, there is only one God. There, nobody is a God themselves. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm knocking that. I'm knocking that nonsense down now. You, you are not a god. You did not create the heavens and the earth. You did not create the oceans, and you are not the original Japanese. And you are not the original this and the original that. Like everything, you think because oh, a black per this came from a black person, so that means everything came from black people, or that means that everything that a black person touches is supposed to be so sacred. Like, come on, bro. Let's be real, fam. I feel like black people mentality have to change the mental. This, it has to change. It has to change, bro. Because if we continue to live in this cycle of victim, victim, uh, victimization and victim mentality, like I'm trying to think of a word that can fit, but I think it's just better to say victim mentality. If we continue to have this victim mentality and have this hatred towards white people, what are, what, like, where are we getting ourselves? You know what I'm saying? What are we getting ourselves? Because it's not even about, oh, like, we got to get this back. We got to get this back. First of all, no, because you're your own individual. So it's like, if you feel like you're in a certain place because of a group of people, you need to look at yourself because I am where I'm at because of me, not because that white people done did this in our history and historically black people done had the end of the stick and this and that. It's, it, no, it's because I am where I'm at because of me not because of what happened historically to black people not because i i don't know my so-called history as some black people will come in my comment session oh you're lost you don't know the history of black folks this is that i'm black okay and i'm pretty sure i do know the history of where i come from i do know the history of my ancestors i i do know the history of these things but to say that i'm a god it's nonsense to say that i am the original japanese is first of all you the, the man said that Black people are addicted to anime because we are the original. That doesn't even make logical sense, bro. You just get you. you oh Jesus, Lord, give me the strength because people are just so ignorant. Ignorant, I like seriously. It's it's it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how people think. Like, I'm just thinking logically. I'm just thinking with common sense. I don't even know all the statistics. I don't know all the history. You feel me? But I'm just thinking logically with common sense. And common sense would say, hey, this don't make sense. That That's what common sense will say. If you have common sense and you have true discernment, you would know that this all is nonsense. It don't make sense. It just don't make logical sense. The original Japanese is crazy. The original whatever else he said is crazy. Like, saying there were nine Earth beings. I don't, what does that even mean? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everything, everyone was black. Whatever you want to believe, that's fine. That's your right. You can believe it. But there's no need to be calling white people bleach demons, devils, crackers, thinking that every white person is out to get you or hates you because of your race, because that's not the case. Your spiritual awakening, I think it's gonna be limited if you have so much hate, right? If you have so much hate in your heart, if you feel the need to put other races down because you think they're inferior, I don't think that'll benefit you actually. The big difference between an Indian, a Native American, and African Americans. See this, this is an Indian. Okay, so now you're an Indian. The original Indian. This, this is a so-called Native American. The government gave these people the right to claim to be these people. This type of African American is an Indian with a European mind. What? He was saying, we don't care about you. You're always trying to get into our discussions, right? What are you doing here? He's sounding a lot like, what was that guy's name? Who hates interracial marriages. Um. Dr. Omar, oh my gosh, fam, I, 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 oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, him, him, <laughs> the nonsense that he provides is ridiculous, the fact that he still has a platform is ridiculous, the fact that people still listen to him is ridiculous, it's truly ridiculous. That's a person with the victim mindset. That's a person that would never get out of that victim mindset. Actually, I'm not going to say he can never get out of it. I feel like if he actually comes to Jesus Christ, I believe that Jesus Christ has changed his heart and changed his mind. I, I truly believe that. But he got to be willing to want to do that for himself also. So I wouldn't say he would never get out that mindset. But, bro, I mean, like, jeez. 
that man there. Oh, Kermonic Zeta. Let's look him up again. Do you remember him? To racial relationships. Oh, but we was talking about two different people. Oh, okay. Well, I guess y'all know my true feelings on Dr. Omar now. Um, oh, Kermonic Zeta. Let's look him up again. Do you remember him? To racial relationships between my people, my eternal people, and these devils, it disgusts me. Same kind of language here. Eternal people, nine ether beings. It sickens me to the core because these devils only are getting into relationships with us and having babies with us to maintain their survival on this planet because they know they are going extinct. So they know that if I can mix with a little melanin, I can leave little remnants left on this earth so that I don't completely get wiped the but that's your destiny. You can't run away from that. And for my people that continuously want to get into relationships with these devils, you a slave, you massa love. If you truly knew who you were, if you truly knew where you come from, if you truly knew your history, you would not want to be associated with them. You are a disgrace to your kind and your ancestors. Your ancestors look at you and say, you do you know what we have been through and yet you want to pollute our genetic pool right well let's say you truly knew you're um an eternal being okay you should be very spiritual i feel like you should act like it and spread love not this divisive racist rhetoric pollute our genetic pool with these demons these succubus oh you still a slave that's all right you love these, you love, you love your massa, you die with your massa, straight up. You know what I think probably happened to this guy? He might have had an ex-girlfriend or something, and maybe she ended up with a white man. I don't know, that's, that's one of my theories, because this is an insane amount of anger towards interracial relationships. I mean, why? I mean, it's quite obvious. Bro, he's worse than Dr. Omar. He said you he said you wanna be with your master, you're gonna die with your master. Ah sorry, master. <laughs> no, bro, what the bro? What the world? Why are we like this, fam? Why do so many black people have so much hate in their heart towards white people? Why? Why? I no, seriously, why? That's a genuine question. I really wanna know why. Why do we why do a lot of us, majority of us, have so much hate in our hearts towards another race? But we 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 talk so much about racism, but yet we we be racist right back towards them. And then we say that we can't be racist. But if they was to say the same words that you're saying out of your mouth, if the white person was to say those same exact words, that would be considered racism. So therefore, if you are saying those same words, it's considered racism also because you're no different than them. You're no better than them. They are no better than us. At the end of the day, bro, we need to stop. We truly need to stop this hatred that we have towards white people because of their ancestors, because of what their ancestors did to our ancestors. Like, come on, bro. What, what is this, an ancestral battle? Like, bro, I don't know my ancestors. And granted, I'm not discouraging or I'm not degrading what they've been through. Like, yes, I know that my ancestors has been through a lot. But at the end of the day, I'm living in the present now. And what they've been through and what what this what this country had to go through period and where i'm at now and being able to reap the benefits of what it is that we are able to do now what it is that dr martin Luther king died for what it is that rosa parks died for what it is that all these black activists died for we are now here i could go to the same place as a white person i could do this as same as same as a white person i get a job the same as a white person i could be the ceo of a company i can have all these great benefits why am i still complaining about what my ancestors been through because if my ancestors was here right now i'm pretty sure they will probably be proud of how far america came or i i, I believe they'd be proud not even how far america came just truly on how uh a black person and a white person can honestly get along and how they can date without getting beat on or how they can go to the same places and same restaurants together i'm pretty sure they will be proud to be like wow this is this is what happened like like i'm just i'm pretty sure they wouldn't sit there and still be like oh look at them white devils over there do you know what they did to us little white devils like i'm pretty sure they would be living the benefits of of what it is that they couldn't live back then like that's just how i visualize that's just my theory right there you feel me but i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe they actually come back and talking about white devils like i, I don't know I, I really don't know obvious here you think that black people are superior and you don't want them to be mixing with the demons and this is fine
This has been on TikTok for years. I think it's been two years. Calling white people bleach, demons, devils, all of that is fine. The comments here, God created every single one of us in his image. We all bleed the same, stop spreading hate and move on. Agreed. Someone else or people fall in love, but he's mad. He cannot accept that. What's your blood pressure? <laughs> I'd love to know because it, it must be exhausting being full of that much hatred. I, as an eternal man, cannot be racist because first of all, I, as an eternal man, would not create a global system to maintain my survival because I have always lived since eternity. So my existence is not limited. But these devils, on the other hand, their existence is limited. I don't know, you might be an eternal man, but that sounded pretty racist. You calling white people demons, devils, I don't- Dude, That's blasphemy, bro. Get your light to Christ. Don't give a sh if you're an eternal man. That's racist. So they have created a global system to maintain their survival because they know the 6,000 year period is up. I am not racist because I have always lived. So I would never create a system to survive. Yeah, okay, that's too much brain rot. Um, let's move on. Here's an interesting shirt this person is wearing, Caucasity. The casual audacity of Caucasians to do or say whatever they feel with seemingly no concern of being cursed out or slapped. Imagine if there was a similar shirt made by white people, a black people, and a bunch of white people were wearing it around. A bunch of you guys would be talking about some, see, this is the impression we're talking about. Look what these white people are doing. You see, they're so racist. You see what they're doing. I just don't understand how you guys think it's cute. This one says, me after thinking, bring back segregation while teaching my class, but it was really out loud. Ha ha, tee, oh, so cute, racism. Ha ha, funny, ha ha. If this isn't black privilege, I do not know what is. Oh, you're on the white people's team because I what? Because I acknowledge reality? Not on a team. I like this country and I want it to be better. Exactly. Unlike that other guy's song, right? His rap. He was saying, you, you have to pick a side. You have to pick a team. Us versus them. Dear white women, listen. Oh, ma'am, back up. Listen, you're only playing this if you value your life. Is to shut the f*** oh. up. Listen exclusively to black, brown, and indigenous women, femmes, and non <laughs> brought up their privilege yet you're executing yours right in front of our faces that don't look like oppression to me looks like somebody holds the social power in this situation and it ain't them every resource you have and use your privilege to back us in every way no <laughs> freedoms we have now are because of our fight and struggle bet on black bet on brown bet on indigenous put everything you got behind us move entirely out of the way no you know i want to know her blood pressure too I'm, I'm actually concerned for these people um why are you so mad calm down you're being racist i think it's quite clear that it's not making you happy ladies and gentlemen here we have what I like to call a black supremacist. Someone that believes that the oppression of their ancestors allows them to oppress people in the present. Because of this, they gain some abilities or social power. And for all the people that don't believe that black supremacists exist, here's your proof. No, I believe. I've, I've believed this for quite some time. Uh, with what I've been hearing in real life, online, I don't know what you think you're achieving with that, but all that's causing is more hatred in the world, more racism, and of course, there are plenty of black people who are calling this out. So thank you for every black, white, Asian, whatever person who is calling out this nonsense. And that's all for today's video, guys. Please let me know what you think about these videos. All right, so first thing first, let me, let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. What the freak was the last video? I heard with all those Pearsons talking like this, talking with some authority because we are gods. We run this earth. Let me stop saying that because, bro, I, I believe in one God. I am not blasphemous, but these people are literally blaspheming the one and true God. And not only that, I think a lot of black people are talking from hurt. 
I, I, I believe that. I believe that she was talking from hurt. I believe that that guy was talking from hurt. I believe that they have went through something with a white person that caused them to believe and think the way that they think. And maybe it's not. Maybe it's just because based off what they read. Maybe they read a lot of articles and everything like that. That's that they they read and now they feel like, you know what I'm saying? They feel like they have gained so much truth. And they feel like they now know the laws that the white man has been trying to tell us. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because of what they read. But I, I think sometimes it does stem from, I think sometimes they're, 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 emotions and with how they feel towards white people their hatred towards white people stems from just i guess living life and going through some issues with white people maybe a relationship maybe the police maybe a racist comment that happened in the store or something i don't know like or maybe because of what they see on the internet like I, I truly don't know but it's ridiculous and we need to stop the hatred you know what i'm saying like granted People believe in certain beliefs, but bro, to call yourself a God, to call yourself and say that you, you're this and you're that and you're this and you're taking place of the one and only true God to say that you've been here since eternity is crazy, bro. It's crazy because, bro, you're going to die right now. And I guarantee when you die right now, you're going to realize that you was not a God all along. <laughs> you could, you're going to die right now and realize that, dang, I was not a God. There was only one true God. <laughs> and now my, now my soul my soul and my spirit is gonna leave my body i wasn't a god you're gonna realize that that you wasn't a god but anyways y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications i love each and every one of y'all man and remind yourself that jesus loves you okay remind yourself that every day that jesus christ loves you without further ado man that is not my outro i just wore this sweater because i want y'all to see it but y'all can't even see it for real so now i'm kind of mad but anyways i love y'all man god bless stay blessed Peace. Yeah.